Hey, what's going on, Come for Killers? I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. I love my YouTube viewers. I love you so much. If you're watching this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and share it out into your network because that helps me grow. That helps the company flow. And that helps the message get out. And if case you don't know what the message is about, it's how to get out of your comfort zone to change your life experience, to experience more life to get that thirst, to get that burst of energy, to get that love, to get back on purpose, to get off of purpose. Because when you're off of purpose, things ain't working. Hey, uh, today I want to talk about this letter that was sent in to me. If you want to write me a letter, I want you to. I want to hear from you. And I love this snail mail kind of stuff because what I do is take some time out and write the person back. And then write them back with the old ink, the old ink and pen. And give my fingers a break from the internet lifestyle, right? So, this was sent in, and if you want to send me in a letter, I have the address somewhere. It's going to be anywhere right there. You figure it out, okay? It says here, Dear Stacy, um, I no longer want to feel like a failure, but I'm at the point where I'm sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. I can't allow another year to pass feeling like I am not living my best life. I've settled and know it. I long to feel free, happy, and charged up. I long to feel motivated and inspired. Honestly, I need a good kick in the ass. Right place. Came to the right place. Uh, I want to overcome the fears of failing. I do want to start a business. I do want to develop myself. And I keep asking myself, but how? I'm looking for someone to help me find my passion again and push me and guide me to success. I want to be successful. Can you help me? Um, we're going to say this is from Mary. We'll just put a name on it so I could, you know, just talk in that aspect. Again. If you want to send me a letter, I would love to speak to you. Well, Mary, you sound, you know, the letter here, and you sound like you tried, you tried some things, you know, you tried some things, and, you know, some of them probably didn't work as fast as it should, or the consistency of staying, you know, at that level where you're growing constantly, that kind of dip, maybe some external life thing took place and drowned out the purpose yeah, well, here's the thing where it comes to passion and purpose and finding that it's very simple. You know, it really boils down to, well, what do you love doing? And some certain aspects, what you love doing, you may need to get out of your comfort zone to actually do it forever, right? To do it all day long. You know, if you like, I was on a podcast with a lovely young lady from Trinidad and you're going to hear that podcast and Stacey A. Cross, I think it drops very soon. By the time you watch this, it should be out on StaceyACross.com, but what happens is we, we get this complex thing of where we should be by the age we are. Okay, we're 35. We should be doing this. We're 18. We got to be doing this. We're this. I, you know what? I scrapped that. I scrapped that as soon as I took, my, I took control back of my mindset. I scrapped the shit out of that. The labels and where you're supposed to be and social, putting that on you and the conventional wisdom. I was like, yeah, about that. Um... My goal is to get you unstuck because you will have the ability to be unstuck. I will kick you in your ass right now. So here's what I did. I had a clothing brand. Uh, Preferred Classics is the name of that clothing brand. I had a clothing brand in 2009. And from 2009 to 2000, I want to say 14, no, 2015, uh, in October 2015, I was off and on on this thing. You know, I would put out something, I would get a little momentum, and then, you know, I would go for it and dash off and, and be a good CEO for a good six months. And then I would have a low point, needed more, needed more cash flow, um, a shirt needed to be released, something needed to be done, and I couldn't sustain that. So I got, what did I get? I, I kind of got low. I got low in energy, and I was like, oh, my God, this again. And I started treating it as if it was now a job, and I was like, I dreaded even thinking about the clothing brand, which, was, which sucks because I was really passionate about it at the time. And I really, yo, this, where are you at? This bad boy right here is on his own show. This guy is, he has his own show on, on cable, okay? Um... Sorry about that, but you know, I'm looking at, well, hey, baby, hey, you got your own show. So what happened? I would get into these periods of being stuck. And how did I get myself out of it? I started looking back in time and I started saying, well, you know, 
I had this low period and then I got this real high boosting of energy period and then I got this low period again and then I got this high energy period. To gain success, you need to take consistent action. You know, for me to get out of the threshold of being uh, addicted to gambling, I had to go at it so hard and so tough. I had to train my subconscious because my subconscious knew I was a damn liar. Okay, my subconscious was like, you got to come better and bigger and, and more consistent than that because you've been lying to me, your spirit, your soul for so long about, you know, what your purpose is and what you should be doing. Now, look at you. You're a gambler. Like you lie, you cheat, you steal for to get the next hit to go to, to the casino. So we're not going to believe you, Stacey. So what are you going to do? You got to take massive action. So some may be at that point where you got to take so much action because you have to now train yourself. You know, you have to, you, you know. Uh, trick yourself because it's so easy to get back into that comfortable space, right? It's very easy, especially when it's new and when you're trying to get unstuck. So you need more momentum to get over the threshold. So that first initial part, you have to take massive action. It has to be consistent. That's the only way I'm going to put it to you. Massive, consistent action. So you do that, you get unstuck. But how do you stay? How do you stay unstuck? Now you got a little momentum. You're feeling better about life. You're going to the places you want to go. You're doing things that you want to do. Oh man, that's a sweet, sweet little dance. Um, so what you have to do to remain out of that is realign with yourself on a daily, weekly basis about your why, your purpose, and why you're in it for. Because if you feel good, you're going to feel good doing it no matter if you're doing it now or four months down the line or six months down the line. What happens is the external things that happen to you slows you down. Like let's say your car broke down and you wanted to use the money for your business. You wanted to move, use the money to go do this other thing that helps your personal development. You really wanted to go see Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins, uh, Tony Robbins seminar. Okay. You had the money to do that. Then guess what? Boom. The car broke down. Now you got to put that towards the car. You got to get the, the battery. You got to get all this water pumps. You got to do all that with the car. Now you're like, why did this happen to me? Oh my God. It's the big intervention. I knew I shouldn't have been doing that. You start, you start talking yourself out of the momentum. You start saying, oh, well this happened because of this thing. That's all external of you. You can control how you respond to things and people need to understand that. You control how you respond to the things in your environment, to your circumstances. I'm sorry for pointing, but you control that response. If you don't think that you control it, then I don't know what else to tell you. But in, in Mary's case, and let's read a little bit of what Mary said. Mary said, hey, I can't allow another year to pass feeling like I am. So how are you feeling? Does this sound like you, matter of fact? Does this letter sound like you? You can't wait for another year for the same things. That's because you're insane. Okay, we do the same things. We we're not aligned with it. We're feeling bad about what we're doing. We want a better situation in our life, but we're still doing the same thing. So guess what? We're gonna get the same result. I looked up the word. I looked up the word insane in the dictionary when I was going through my gambling shit. I was like, damn, bro, am I really insane? Absolutely, because I was expecting a different result, doing the same things over and over and over again. We are consistent with doing things that are destructive, but we never. We're never, we're never that consistent. We're like start and stop. You know, start and stop. Oh my God. Wait, wait, I'm going to do it. I'm, I really want this, but I'm going to stop right here. So we're, we're not consistent when it comes to doing things that are constructive on a 10 year, 20 year basis so that we can gain the confidence in that. Cause once you're consistent, you start getting all this beautiful confidence. You start feeling great and your self image and self esteem just rises like the tides. Okay. And Mary says here, I, I am not living my best life. Why? Because you know it. You had placed, there's so much, there's so much that you have to understand. When you place this big purpose, when you're here, because you're here, man, you are, you are on this planet for something great. I don't know if anyone told you that, but you are. I'm not even going to front with you. I'm not going to stunt. I'm not going to be, it's just, I'm going to be real with you. You are here for something greater than you are accepting right now. And you can't accept it. You know why? Because that purpose, the person that's living that purpose, you think is so far from where you're at. You're like, well, how could I live that purpose when I'm, I'm not a good communicator? I have, I have some, uh, some failures that I'm, I'm still thinking about. I'm still thinking about the past. I have some fears that I need to get over. How am I really for this purpose when every time I look at the characteristic of that person and that person, it does it big. That person knows their stuff. That can't be me. So I'm telling you, why not? Why can't it be you? 
That's what, one question that I ask myself. Why can't it be you? Mary, ask yourself this. Why can't you live up to your potential then? What's stopping you? Because the only thing that can ever stop a person from succeeding, from moving, from shifting, from getting, from having, from doing, from being is... I'm going to sit on that one real quick. I'm going to just sit I'm going to just sit on that one real quick. Where he says I've settled and I know it. How many of you guys have settled? We know we have settled. We know that we settled for the average of things. We look up, we see somebody living good. And we know he's Why them? Why not me? You know? A friend of mine lives in the sky rise apartment and I and I and I'm I love it I love the sky rise apart I don't look at it and say I could never live here I don't look at it and say why her why not me you know those are not the first things that come out I congratulate her I think it's a beautiful place and space and I'm right here you open up to it so that's why I teach people how to get inside their comfort zone because they expand to the person that they want to become. They expand to it. You can't reach that person if you're over here with those thoughts. Let me go back. If you're over here with those thoughts and that person's over here with the, those characteristics and you're trying to fill the gap with negativity, you're trying to fill the gap with resentment, with regret and all that, 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 that won't build the bridge, okay? You're over here, the person you want to be is over here. You can't build the bridge with resentment and regret and failure talk. That's and quitting talk. And and you're stuck talk and average talk. You cannot build that bridge. So how do you build a bridge to get to the other person? Well, the foundation of that bridge is mindset. Because you're unable to see and grasp and hold on to that person if you don't believe that you could actually be that person you understand i hope you understand that so how do we build the bridge the first we got to put the foundation in there we got to go put the foundation and the comfort killers helps with that foundation i help build that foundation why because i know that mindset is the most important if you don't got the mindset you can erase anything that you want to do another year will pass by and then after that, you want, you wish, you hope, but another year will pass by after that. So what I want to say to you is the foundation of all things of be, do, have is building the foundation on mindset because you must be able to envision and put yourself in the picture. That's my dude, KRS-One, on the album I Got Next. I think this came out in 1997. And he says, visualize wealth, but put yourselves in the picture. And I'm over here rapping it in 1997 with him. That part comes up. Visualize wealth and put yourselves in the picture. And then I went back to it very recently. I, I had seen him on YouTube. Shout out to KRS-One, hip hop. And I was like, oh shit. Because usually we visualize something and we are standing outside at the damn gate, looking through the bars, like, oh my God, I wish that could be me, I wish that one day. But we don't put ourselves in there. It's too far stretched. We can't see it, we can't, well, first of all, we, we can't believe it to see it. You understand? So what we teach here, the comfort killer's depot, to get you into that comfort killing zone, to get your energy up, to get your morale up, this self-esteem up and stay there, is developing a killer mindset, bulletproof mindset. And it begins with how you perceive yourself. So Mary, I'm reading this and I said, there's nothing really wrong with you, Mary. Shit, I could have written this. I could have written this two years ago. I could have written this when I was stuck in that gambling cycle. I don't know what you're trying to overcome if you have any fears, but we could have all written this. We could have all said, hey, listen, I no longer want to feel like a failure, but do you feel like a failure? 
or do you perceive yourself as a failure so therefore you feel this failure but you can't really fail sending a letter like this is not failure sending a letter like this is saying yo i'm ready to take the next step are you ready to take the next step comfort killers because if you are i'm here for you i am stacy a cross baby and there ain't no e in my name you put an e in there we're gonna have some problems no we won't i'll still answer you but i'm just gonna say that um so overcoming fear and all of that mindset will help out that's what we do at the comfort killers we get out of our comfort zone in fact there is a video a five video series with five different ways and techniques and things that you could do action uh right now to get out of your comfort zone feel great about yourself feel great about life again within the first 24 hours of watching the video if you want that tell me about that you want that i'm gonna give that to you it's five videos five different techniques five different ways you can get outside your comfort zone asap right now and i want to give that to you just check out the comfortkillers.com matter of fact i hope you understand hold on hold on here i'm coming i wrote this book i wrote this book and it outlines here it outlines the journey that you're gonna be on because once you're a comfort killer there is a look there's a journey i'm trying to damn there's a journey that you're going to take and how to change your life using tools you already have. I believe everyone has the tools inside of them. Okay. It's good to just say, Hey, listen, I need this external thing. I need that. I need that. But that doesn't, that doesn't work around here. We focus on what's within. So I want you to get this book and I want you to join my academy. I want you to get those five ways to get out your comfort zone right now. So if you think about getting outside of your comfort zone, I want to help you. I want to help you out. If you don't know who I am, I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in it. Founder of the Comfort Killers. And I totally got uncomfortable in 2016 when I walked outside of a seminar. I said, hell no, I don't want that. I don't want that, Jack Black. I'm out of here because I'm going to take action for my life. And I created this business as an accountability partner. In fact, I created it so I didn't have to go inside the casino. I needed something else to do. And I said, man, I'm going to take massive action and work at my dreams on a daily basis. Consistent. But I'm going to help so many people expand my mission life is teach builders how to get uncomfortable so they could think better, act better, and live better. I'll check you later. Thecomfortkillers.com. Peace.